Okay, well, it's going to be a fast video, and uh, just on my way out the door, but I got the headgear done today, and I wanted to show you the, uh, the view inside this, because with the Predators I tried, it, it was sort of like looking at a TV set at like, you know, four or five feet or whatever, and I really wanted to feel like I was in the picture, so this is with the magnifier from... Edmund Scientific and it's looking out the window there right now and I can't get too close to the actual eye position but that might simulate it there so this is what I'm seeing when I'm looking through my into my visor now I'm seeing almost a full image and I'm able to look around that. That's about the eye level right there. And that's through the bifocals as well. That's just looking out the front window. But I have all my information uh, with the battery at the bottom here. I don't know if you can see that. You can't, I can't get it in to the actual. case close enough but now you're focused on this part so I have to clean up this but as you can see I have a really really wide view now inside my goggles and I can look around that picture I don't have to look at it it's not a box in front of my eyes it's actually a, a screen in front of my eyes so I can look around and see what's going on just to, like you would be looking at a computer screen I guess but when it's on your head it's a lot more immersive so that is my bodge and I had to put a strap on the top to keep it on my head it's not that heavy I would say maybe two pounds two pounds or so and that's all cardboard so painted but there's the TV set in the back and then like I said you've got your view through this uh, bifocal magnifier so it is quite large and there you can see the battery there oh there's a Kodak anyways that's the day and uh, I'll catch y'all later